It's still not registering with me like how it's possible to be able to do this. Is this illegal? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Um, things might look just a little different. Just like the slightest bit different behind me. If you haven't noticed just yet, there's a couch that wasn't there before. And a boy. There's a boy on the couch. We're still in the same room. This is still the room that I always film in, but my entire background changed because um, I wanted to put this couch somewhere. So I did. I changed everything, literally everything, just so I could have a place to put this couch. Anywho, um, on to the actual content of this video. Today we're going to be doing the Neiman Marcus advent calendar. And I can't say I've ever stepped foot into a Neiman Marcus. I don't even know where one would be to put my foot in. Like I honestly I don't know anything about this store. I'm pretty sure it's like a fancy retail establishment. Kind of like upscale Macy's. In my mind it's upscale Macy's. Is that right? I don't know. I got curtains. This is the same window that I was covering up with Lisa Frank folders. They're curtains now. Got a little overexcited today about the curtains, about choked on my coffee. Okay, let's go ahead and just see how much this advent calendar costs because you guys know I don't know information like that. I get real excited about buying advent calendars, so I kind of throw things into my cart and buy them quickly before they like sell out and stuff. You know, thinking this is an investment. It's fine, no matter how much it is. How do you even spell Neiman? <laughs> My heart. Oh, that one hurt. Oh no. Okay, so uh, here it is. Apparently it's still available, so like my urgency to purchase it wasn't warranted for any reason. Um, But this is the NM Holiday Beauty Advent Calendar, and it's a mere $300. <laughs> No. On the details of this thing, it says, have fun counting down the days until Christmas with this beauty calendar. It contains 25 deluxe samples. It, every bit, all of it sample? All of it samples. I try not to like look into this information before I purchase calendars because I really want everything to be a surprise. That just like, I saw like the, the words deluxe samples and like my eyes couldn't help but go to it. It's all deluxe samples apparently. How much is this thing supposed to be worth? It doesn't even say. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. It literally doesn't even say how much like the value of it's supposed to be probably because there is no value to it because it's just deluxe samples. A little too early on in the video to be getting this spicy, um, but let's, let's just go ahead and see what is in here. Maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe that was a typo. Maybe, maybe it was a typo. I do like the packaging of this. Reminds me of like the 60s for some reason. I think it's pretty cute. I like the little like bursty things and the lettering. And then when we open it up on the inside, we have some cute little doors. Fiddlesticks. I don't have my table behind me <laughs> to put this stuff on anymore. Oh no! I see a tiny table in the hallway. Hold on. Okay, that actually works out not terribly. I am still excited. I am interested in seeing what is in here. What could possibly be worth three hundred dollars in deluxe size samples? Um, but let's start here with day number one. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, it does look like we're gonna have some very fancy, like upscale samples. <laughs> First one is from Tom Ford. Tom Ford Research. It sounds like an actual like research facility or something. Tom Ford makes like well, I don't know what Tom Ford makes purses clothes. Uh, but this is a serum concentrate. It doesn't really say exactly what the concentrated serum is. Yeah, it doesn't say at all what the serum is actually. Absolutely no information. Literally nothing at all. It's just a serum concentrate. It doesn't say like what it's supposed to do, what it's supposed to accomplish, where you're supposed to put it. This little tiny sample also says not for sale. I don't really know how you can put this into an advent calendar and sell it for money when it says that the sample itself isn't for sale. So what they're telling me here is this is a free sample of Tom Ford unspecified serum, but they're putting it into an advent calendar and selling it for profit. You know what? I'm actually going to keep all the doors out because apparently I keep forgetting doors because my brain just like can't keep track. So um, let's leave the doors out. Let's move on now to day number two. I feel like I shouldn't have looked that these are all deluxe size samples because I'm already starting off this calendar way too salty, but um, okay, next up in here. And sorry about the lighting and stuff. I will get that figured out, I promise. But the next thing we have in here is from Orbe, not to be confused with Orbeez. This is an invisible defense protection spray. I'm gonna assume it's for your hair. It says shake and mist on damp or dry hair prior to styling for best protection. Use before hot tools or sun exposure. I mean that seems like a nice product. I'm sure this is a fancy hair care brand but um it just it's so small. It's so small. This is only 0.67 fluid ounces. So if you have like a good amount of hair, which I, I don't have much hair. I really do not. But still I feel like this is 
like maybe a week's worth supply, perhaps. I don't know. Moving right along here to day number three. This one has some weight to it. This one looks pretty exciting, actually. Oh, this looks very luxurious. Made in Italy and everything. My goodness. This is from Tiziana Terrazzini. Tiziana Terrazzini, maybe. And the front of this packaging, if I could flip it around, just looks so fancy, doesn't it? Whatever this is, it's in the fragrance almond vanilla. And then it says black glass. This is a candle, which I personally absolutely love candles, so I'm kind of excited about this. It says that it is entirely handmade in Italy by legendary master candle makers and perfumers for three generations. Wow. Ooh, it has a wooden wick from Tuscany. I bet this little candle is like 30 bucks. I bet this size of candle is like 30 to 40 dollars. I'm looking it up. <laughs> That's just hilarious. That's so funny. The full size, like 17 ounce candle is $160. No. For $160, I could make you approximately 60 handmade all natural soy candles. <laughs> but my wicks wouldn't be from Tuscany, so. I mean, it's cute. I like this packaging. I like the black glass with the gold label. The little wood wick is fine. It's cute. It smells okay. I mean, it smells fine. It's just kind of like a light vanilla -y scent. I mean, it's it's cute. What, <laughs> what did I say? I just found the little mini of this on some like random website. They are selling it for $35.77, which is a very odd and specific price. Oh, but apparently you can also get it on Amazon for $18.99. That's, <laughs> that's slightly more reasonable. All right, day number four is next feel no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, I feel a little bit better now because I thought this was one of the like actually free sample perfumes that come in these little packages, <laughs> but it's not. It is from Revita Lash. This is the Revita Brow Advanced Eye Brow Eyebrow Conditioner. And of course, it's a little sample of it. And right there, smack dab on the front, it says sample, not for sale. I, d I still can't figure that one out because I know it's with inside like an advent calendar, but at the same time, each one of these items has like a value associated with it was 300 divided by 24. 25. 12 dollars. So they're saying that basically every day inside this calendar is probably worth around 12 dollars. So they're applying a value to this and then selling it to consumers even though on the product it says not for sale. How do you do that? Alrighty here, moving on to day number five, we have a little box. This is from Chantecali, Chantecali La Creme Riche Anti-Age Bio-Lifting Cream. <laughs> um, I've never heard of this brand before, I'm assuming since it's in this calendar. It's probably a very, very like luxury skincare brand. And we just have, of course, the tiniest little guy of it, just a super itty bitty little pot. Rian, still back there? Everybody. Day number six is next. This one has a little bit of weight to it, but it is another little pot of cream. This is from Jo Malone. Isn't that a steakhouse? I was thinking of Malone's, a steakhouse in Kentucky. This is Jo Malone London. So, you know, um, the British version. <laughs> this is a peony and blush suede body cream. And, um, you know, you get enough of it in here to probably apply it to like maybe one or two legs and like a haunch or something. Uh, it's not a lot of cream. Also not for sale. I didn't really notice that as much with other advent calendars for some reason. I'm sure all those little samples inside the other advent calendars that we've done have also said not for sale, but I just hadn't really paid much attention to it. Uh, but now that we're paying $300 for these little samples, I'm very much so paying attention to it. It is pretty thick in texture. It does feel really nicely moisturizing. It is very, very floral though and pretty heavily scented. So if you're not super into scents, I don't know how much you'd like this. Oh, I did the math saying that like each of these days should be worth at least $12, but with an advent calendar, typically there's like a larger value associated <laughs> with it. So when you buy an advent calendar because you're giving up the ability to like choose, they typically give you some type of like monetary value. So you pay $300 for it, but it's actually worth like 700, which there's no possible way unless there's like a $500 bill inside this advent calendar that's worth $700. Is the $500 bill a real thing? There was a $500 bill. Apparently it was discontinued in 1969. Alrighty, day number seven is next. We have a little bottle of something here. This is from Aesop. I think that says Aesop. Again, another brand that I've never heard of. This is a geranium leaf rinse-free hand wash. Alcohol-based hand wash for use when fresh water is unavailable. So hand sanitizer. Apparently there's something where it has to be like a certain level of alcohol content to be considered a hand sanitizer, but like... An alcohol-based rinse-free hand wash. Sounds an awful lot like hand sanitizer to me. It smells like hand sanitizer and a little bit like 
plants. Alrighty, day number eight is next. There's another little box in here. I knew we were gonna see this brand in here somewhere because it is crazy, crazy expensive. Um, this is the 111 Skin Harley Street London Celestial Black Diamond Eye Cream. This is just 0.25 fluid ounces of eye cream. Black Diamond. Is there a reason it's called Black Diamond or are we just trying to sound kind of like ooh la la? Next up we have day number nine. Oh, another little box. So the next item in here is from Fresh, which I've definitely heard of before. This is a black tea instant perfecting mask this also says not for sale on the back it's still not registering with me like how it's possible to be able to do this is this illegal I really don't know I mean these are giant humongous corporations with like tons of lawyers I'm sure they pay millions of dollars a year so I'm sure they are going about this legally I just can't honestly figure it out when it says it's not for sale but they're selling it it doesn't make sense oh Ooh, that's very strong. I, I kind of like the scent though. It's just a very kind of intense scent. Um, but the cream also looks a little bit interesting. It's almost like a paste. Oh, oh no, it's cream. Oh, that feels lovely. That feels really, really nice on the skin. Yeah, that actually feels really good. <laughs> I kind of like that. I don't know why though. I feel like I would break out immediately after putting this on. I, I thought, but that might not happen. But <laughs> I feel it that this would just cause my skin to like, panic. All right, day number 10 is up next. We have something that also looks very expensive. This is from L'Ombre Dance Le Eau de Parfum and I'm not, I don't think any of that has been pronounced correctly in any way shape or form. But I am really excited about getting a perfume. I love perfumes. I collect them so I'm very excited to see what this smells like. It smells like something I've definitely smelled before. It smells like the stems of flowers. Not even the flower itself, but just like the stem. Like if you're like cutting through it to put it in water or whatever, like the juices that come, yeah, it smells like flower stem juice. Also, it says it's a gift and not for sale. Alrighty, day at number 11 is next. Oh, it looks like we have a little dual thing here. So we have a tiny cute little wrapped up towel. That's actually kind of cute and precious. That little bitty bow was really adorable. And it came with an Oruelia London Miracle Cleanser. It's supposed to be a creamy balancing cleanser with Protedia and Biobab. It will never cease to amaze me how many different things you can put into skincare. Yeah, the, there's so, well, so many things. Oh, this is bamboo muslin. You're supposed to remove this specifically with this tiny little towel. Nothing else. Bamboo muslin. Ooh, day at number 12 here actually looks kind of promising. A little bit of a larger size and it's also from Guerlain, which I know is very expensive. This is the or Orchidi Imperial Exceptional Complete Care The Cream. And I'm guessing the Orchidi um, is Orchid. <laughs> oh, what a fun little like spaceship looking bottle. Isn't that so cute? So weird looking. <laughs> Looks like a button that I really, really want to press, but it doesn't do anything. And of course they make it look like you get a lot more than you actually do. I was fully anticipating just being like smacked in the face <laughs> of the smell of like flowers and orchids, but it's really not that overpowering. It feels pretty nice on the hand. Yeah, the skin, the hand, yeah, same thing. All right, day at number 13. Will it be a lucky or unlucky 13? Let's see. Okay. Uh, definitely a brand that we have been seeing in advent calendars and things. The next item in here is just the tiniest little bottle from Paracone MD, which I've, ever, I've actually never seen anything from that brand larger than this before. Maybe they just make miniature products. Maybe this is actually a full size and just everything they make is tiny and mini. That'd be kind of cute. It smells like something I kind of want to eat. This is a Cold Plasma Plus Advanced Serum Concentrate, and I do believe we have received this exact product before. Moving on pretty quickly through this calendar. The next thing we have in here, I can already tell what it is from the bottle or at least who it's by. This is from Molten Brown. We just got something from them in the, oh, which one were you? I don't know. One of the mini advent calendars that we have done. This is a cypress and sea fennel shower gel. And uh, I made the comment that this looks like if you went into like a ritzy hotel, like an upper class, high class hotel, this is the kind of stuff that you would see like in the shower area for you to use that you steal and you take home because it's cute. And then someone commented on that video and said that they work in like hotel chains and stuff and this is exactly the products that they use in the hotels. So I thought that was pretty funny. I'm interested in seeing what this smells like. Fiddle is one of my absolute least favorite flavors. It's so bad. Um, it tastes like licorice. Anything fiddle has ever been into me has tasted like licorice. So let's see what this smells like. Oh, it smells pretty good. I'm guessing sea fennel is something entirely different than the fennel that I'm thinking of. It smells pretty good. A little bit like herbally, just kind of clean. All right, number 15 is up next. I mean, actually has something that looks like it comes in a decent sized box, so that's pretty nice. Next up here, we have something from um, Strange Square 
underlined beauty. Oh, it's just the beauty. Uh, this is a resurfacing compound. It says you're supposed to apply it to clean skin, a top clean skin, and then just massage in gently. I guess you're supposed to leave this on, so that's pretty interesting. Ooh, number 16 has a lot of weight to it. It looks like a spool of thread. No? This looked exactly like a spool of thread to me when I opened it up. I was like, okay, maybe it's like fancy, luxurious black thread. I use it on like Armani suits or something. Uh, but no, it looks like we might have another candle. This one is from Nest, another very expensive candle line. I'm honestly a little bit more excited about this one though, even though this one's a little less like luxurious looking than the Italian one, just because the scent of this one I really like already. This is in the scent Moroccan Amber, and I personally really like that. It's a little bit like spicy and masculine. Um, it's also matte black, and I just think that's really cute, and I like that. Moving on here to day number 17. This one's buried a little bit. The next item we have here is the Intensity. Intensity. Oh, intensity. Oh, spelled with an E instead of a Y. You got me there. Revive Anti-Age Serum. And it just says just to apply it morning and night and follow with a moisturizer. Day number 18 is up next here. And oh, we have a squeezy tube. There's been like a shocking lack of squeezy tubes since advent calendar, which I'm perfectly okay with. Um, the next item in here is from Dr. Barbara Strum. This is a face cream. And then it says absolutely nothing else about it. So alert number 19 is next feeling particularly lightweight. Oh, and that's because it is another squeezy tube of just like the tiniest amount of the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment from Sunday Riley. And I don't know why that's bothering me so much, but like the printing is off center on the front and the back. I don't know why that's a problem for me. Um, but this is a lactic acid treatment. I don't know if I've already said that or not. It is supposed to deeply exfoliate the dull surfaces of the skin. And I've heard fantastic things about this. I really have. There's only 0.17 fluid ounces in here, so I don't really know how many fantastic results you'll see from that small amount of product. Ran over there grunting in agreement. But I am actually interested in trying this out because I have heard really great things about it. Okie dokie, day number 20 is next. We're moving through this pretty quickly, probably because everything's so small and tiny. The next item we have in here is from Givenchy. This is the Le Rouge Luminous Matte High Coverage Lipstick. Luminous Matte, that's an interesting uh, little paradox there. When something is like a matte finish, I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be matte and not luminous. <laughs> but you know, that's an interesting combination of finishes. The other day I received some beekeeping supplies in the mail to open up packages and things and I've loved them. I've been using them all the time to open boxes and stuff. I used them on like the stuff that the couch came in to like pry the boxes open and stuff. Fantastic. Thank you so much to whoever sent these. This is a pink hive tool with a J-hook. Is that one of the BTS members? I do, not surprisingly, really like the packaging on this. It's black and it has like kind of a float faux leather wrapped around it. It opens kind of weird. Uh, of course, it is just super red. It's like, it's a very pretty red, but it's incredibly red. It also doesn't look matte at all. Like in any way, shape, or form, does this very shiny red looking lipstick look matte? And I want to swatch it, but at the same time, I don't want to swatch it because I don't know if I'll ever actually wear this color. And I would love to give this to like somebody that would actually wear it and appreciate it. All right, so you're on to the last five days of the advent calendar. And I guess I'm just going to have to take what they said on the website very seriously. I do feel like everything in here is going to be a deluxe size sample. I don't think we're going to be surprised with any type of full size item, but you, you never know. There could be a Christmas miracle inside of here. Who knows? Day 21 is next. I am seeing a little box. This is from Day de Pew. Day de Pew. <laughs> Is that what that says? I'm, I'm really, I'm not 100% sure, but this is a Beauty Emulsion Intensive Fortifying Emulsion. Emulsion. I don't really know what an emulsion is, to be fully honest. It looks, it doesn't squeezy too. I'm guessing it's gonna be some type of cream. They could just give us like the tiniest little hint of what this does. It just says an intensive fortifying emulsion. I don't even know what emulsion means. I'm supposed to know what to do with this. I mean, I'll look it up. I'll Google it. That's fine. But like from what I'm telling you guys about these products, it's very difficult to do so because it gives me almost no information. However, it does say not for sale. Um, that information is plastered over like all of these items. Day at number 22 is next. We're coming down to the end of this calendar and of course this brand would be in here somewhere but at least it's something I have not tried from them before but it does have rose in it. You know, back and forth. Happy, sad, happy, sad. Um, so this is from Elemis. I do like the brand Elemis. They are very, very expensive. This is the Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. Yeah, yes, that's exactly what it is. It's like if you were to let some like roses like chill out and some Vaseline for a few months. That's exactly what it smells like. I do have an aunt, my mom's twin sister, who has claimed all of my rose scented things. She said, I want them all. I love it. And I said, okay, good. I'm so happy to be able to send these items your way. 
stop them from stanking up my house. Okay, next up, we're moving on here to day 23. Bye, buddy. I love you. Next up here, we have something from Dior. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is just like a little taste of what we're about to see in the Dior advent calendar. I'm sure most of the items look exactly like this, just itty bitty and tiny. This is the Capture Total Dream Skin Care and Perfect. Oh, it's even tinier once you get it out of the box. Look how itty bitty that is. And of course it says not for sale. Alright you guys, so we are moving on now to the last two days of this advent calendar. My hopes are dwindling. My dream is a Jardash. I don't think we're going to see anything full size in here, but maybe we just have like an incredibly expensive, ridiculous item. Maybe there's some like La Mer in here or something. So I'm pretty sure like 0.1 fluid ounce of La Mer anything is like 50 bucks so that's pretty cool all right so let's go ahead and get on into day at number 20 it's a scrunchie it's a single scrunchie one sc one singular scrunchie one hair tie one singular scrunchie hair tie okay so the thing is i actually like these i use these quite a lot these are the slip hair scrunchies they're all like made out of silk which is supposed to be better for your hair than like other types of materials that's fantastic we actually got three of these in another advent calendar last year and i've been using them since then that's great but this is just a single one one singular hair scrunchie in a 300 dollars advent calendar i think these are like 10 bucks a piece or something but it's a three hundred dollar advent calendar three of them three three hundreds one two three okay day number 25 maybe there'll just be money in here just pure mon diamonds perhaps just a drawer of diamonds or a candle okay i love a candle as much as any old joe i am a candle person i use them as just decor pieces i don't even burn them just set them around i love me a candle love looking at them love smelling them love burning them um but this is the third candle we received in this beauty advent calendar also it is a barricade Rouge 540 perfume candle, which I don't know much about Barracot Rouge 540, but I do know apparently it's incredibly expensive. So it's a little like, oh, here is a candle that smells like this very expensive perfume. We could have put some of that very expensive perfume in there to go a little bit more with the theme, but actually it's just a candle. It comes in super cute little packaging. I like the little chandeliers and stuff. And yeah, it smells real good. It's candle. It smells real good. I guess it smells like that fancy perfume. I'll never know because I just get the candle and not the perfume itself. The packaging is super cute. It looks like a little building and stuff. I think that's pretty adorable. But yeah, there's the, the third candle. Yeah, this perfume from Saks Fifth Avenue is between $325 and $625. That's nuts. I can't seem to find the price for the tiny candle itself. I'm sure it's way too much money for what it is. Um, But it's, it does smell really nice. I'm glad that I get to smell the perfume in some capacity because I'm sure I'll never even like see it in real life. So yeah, the final day, a tiny little candle. All right, you guys. So that was everything in the Neiman Marcus 25 day beauty advent calendar that cost $300. My thoughts about it are, um, I'm not sure if we have just been like a part of some illegal enterprise because most of these items said not for sale, not even not for individual sale, just literally not for sale. One of them even said gift on it. <laughs> so I'm just imagining an even Marcus, a retailer for I'm sure all of these brands are like getting these items to give away as free samples when you buy their stupidly expensive things. And then they just put them into this box with little drawers and then they're like, hey, we're gonna charge you $300 for this. I'm not gonna tell you how much it's worth. It's worth probably nothing because these are free samples. I mean, not literally everything in here was a free sample, the candles, the hair tie, like that kind of stuff. I'm sure some of the larger items in here were not free samples, but many of them said straight on there, it's a sample, not for sale. Anyway, this was, 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 was a calendar. Um, let me know what you guys thought about it down below in the comments. Do you think I just fully wasted my money? Like I do. Or do you think this is a pretty good one? Any of your thoughts and opinions, you can let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.